Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week, Valgavoth is once again taking center stage, but in Pioneer because, well, I hear Valgavoth's pretty good on turn four. So we're going to use Indomitable Creativity, getting into our new Duskmorn Big Baddie. Uh, we're going to do what you would expect with Indomitable Creativity, deduce, making tokens, all the token producers, pop one of the tokens, turn it into a Valgavoth. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. Oh, well, you know what? I'm already scared. Look at that, the hiccups... Maybe Valgavath will scare him away. Let's see how we do on the ladder with this deck. Uh, this is kind of dangerous, but maybe they're not aggro because I see Yorion. So that's telling me that they're going to probably be kind of a slow deck anyways, right? So let's see if we can get there. Now, I'm not sure how this deck beats anybody like straight up if they board wipe or answer the Valgavath, but that's, you know... Wait, hold on. Do I have to cast the card? How does this work? Uh, those players, the cards in the battle. Okay, so I don't cast with Indominal Creativity. So, have fun, High Nooners. Enjoy. Alright, cool. Kind of feel like I want red sources here. So, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to get another red source. Sure, the opponent can use removal or whatever on my little token, but at least I get to loot a little, and that's not bad. I'm hoping, just because of the nature of this deck, that my opponent here doesn't pop off too hard with their enigmatic thingy-mabobber. Because that's going to cook us otherwise. They play Sunfall, right? The These incarnation decks play Sunfall, I think. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and draw two new ones. Solid. Sure. Destroy X target artifacts and or creatures. For each permit destroyed this way, I get to do some shenanigans. But I'm a little bit worried about whatever my opponent's doing over on that side as well. Maybe, and I mean just maybe, do I go for it now? If I go for it right now and they respond, I actually only need for one. Okay. Cool. So I have Valgavoth. They can't interact with Valgavoth, thankfully, but... All right, so they can take out my little fable. Overlord of the Haunt Woods. Okay, pop off. I think I need the blue source here more than I care. Oh, actually, I have the blue source with fable over there. Not exactly sure I care what my opponent does right now. Like, if they play, I don't know, Atroxa, we just swing past it, right? <laughs> nice! This seems half decent. Sure, I have a way to draw. I have indomitable creativity. I don't have any early game interaction, though. I don't have enough, at least. Not one mana. Okay, it's a slow, dirtily deck. All right, so I'm going to play a mountain. Let's see what they do here. Maybe they play around something. Oh, it's pure just blue-white control. You got it. Pop off upon it. We're going to see how we beat blue-white. Can we even beat blue-white? I don't know. They probably have a march in hand or something like that. I'm going to just windmill slam a fable into open mana because why wouldn't I? Eventually, they will run out of things to answer with. So that's fine with me. They probably have removal. Then maybe it's like a march. Although if they had march, uh, I think they might want to use it on fable here. Supreme verdict my token otherwise. Temporary lockdown. Okay, opponent. All right, island, island. I'm going to go ahead and play another fable. I need to just get a treasure or something that they can't actually interact with all too easily. So if they play Teferi here, is that the end? Okay, so Wandering Emperor time, potentially. I'm going to bin an island or the river glade and a mountain. All right, cool. Yeah, now we just hang back, I guess. I mean, there's no reason to do anything other than just pass the turn, see what they draw or what they play. And then if they don't do anything, I could just use Fountain Port, right? That's fine. Sure. So here comes the Verdict or something like that, I assume. If they hand, if they cast the Verdict, that makes it a lot easier to actually uh, close out, right? I mean, what are the odds they have more ways to do shenanigans? I mean, I'm just going to make a 1-1 one, one fish until we force the Verdict. Here you go, opponent. 
I'm not gonna do- I'm not gonna attack with reflections yet. I don't wanna swing into Kiki, or I mean, uh, into Wandering Emperor. Alright, Shark Typhoon. That's a little bit of a nuisance. Sure. Okay, let's see it. What, where are you going with that? Let's go ahead and sack a token. Draw a card, pass. Sure, that's fine. I mean, I still have a map token, so... I guess at the end of the day, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Alright, let's go ahead and pass. I mean, as of right now, I need them to, like, tap out for a board wipe or something along those lines. I guess on the brighter side, I do have the option of just sitting here and just making one once. Sure. Yeah, let's do the for one. Okay, I'm going to play Valgavoth, and then I'm going to pass. Yup, that resolves. That's fine. Uh, let's draw a card. Please don't be Valgavoth. So I have three mana open. I mean, do they have an answer to the map token? Uh, sure, resolves. I'll pay the three. Do they also have spell pierce? Alright, now let's see what they do. Do they have another verdict? But if they do, I guess we, then we're on the Shark Typhoon game plan. Then we're gonna try to Prismari Command, make them throw away some cards if they don't do anything now. Okay, cool. So they have to dig. Did they hit the verdict? Oh, they didn't! Uh, I don't have any of the combo pieces, but I do have some early game interaction. Oh boy, Adventurous Impulse. What does that mean? Mono green? Okay. Uh, how do I beat a mono green deck? Uh-huh. Well, seeing as I don't have an answer <laughs> to a 5-4, I'm really gonna need my deck to help me out here. Okay. Sure. Uh, why not? Let's just start digging. We gotta go fast. So here's to hoping they don't, like, fight us down with some other big spell. Steel Leaf Champion's gonna be around for a while. Won't be able to block that, unfortunately. All right, well, no blocks, thank you. All right, I'm gonna throw away this land and a Volcanic Spite. Let's go to combat. So I have the option now to deal six damage if I'd like. Sure, I'm gonna pass the, I'm gonna pass the turn. Um, sure. Oh, that's not good. What am I pushing back here? I don't really want any of these cards to go, but maybe that's the way it's got to be. Sure. All right, drew another land. Unfortunate, but it's the way uh, it plays out, I guess. No way. All right, maybe I should have kept Fountain Port if I'm going to keep any land, but whatever. Who's counting, right? I am, but you know. It's okay. Here we go. We're popping off. We're just going to do it the honest way. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, take us home. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I am a little bit worried that my opponent here is just going to do something like... Like, like what are they going to do in Grohl here that I'm worried about? I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm worried about from Grohl. They aren't playing any cards either. Watch, I'm going to draw Valgavoth, but you know what? At this point, I'm going to just hard cast Valgavoth. Alright, three, six, seven, eight. Okay, as I w said earlier, sometimes you just got to hard cast a Valgavoth, you know? Yeah... I know I could have waited till the end of their turn to do something, but if they just end up sweeping, I guess I would counter it, right? I do have lethal on them next turn, hypothetically. Sarkon's unsealing? You got it. All right! Yeah! I would like another blue source, but I'll just draw it. If not, I'll tap it and play Fable. Looks like I'm gonna have to do the whole tapping out and playing Fable, just because I assume I won't get to keep all my cards for too long. All right, this isn't Cheese Fang, right? Or maybe it is, but hopefully they don't have a way to cheese me out right now. All right, Fatal Push, that's fine. Whatever. I'm just happy that I got to keep a Fable without getting completely shut down. Oh, here it comes. All right. I actually think I want every one of these cards. Uh, yeah, sure. Maybe I'll send back a three steps ahead. That one doesn't do much for me. 
All right, if they go thought sees like cheese fang, I'm in trouble. Okay, not a not a thought sees, thankfully. Okay, we're gonna just have to kind of chill out for a second here. I didn't get any more mana, so don't really want to get blown out by anything. Good lord, if I just find exactly a Valgavoth, though. Like, well, I need Indomitable Creativity and Valgavoth, of course, but, you know. Sure, opponent. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and deal to draw to. What do I want to do here? If I discard... I think I throw a deduce. Deduce gets me more mana. The idea that I'm going to get more time off of Fable here is going to feel... Is not realistic. Oh, wow. Look at that. Rewarded. Like that. All right. Do they have any weird ways of... I don't know. Playing some kind of s discard here. I'm hoping not. Uh, Lily, not the end of the world. Sure. What do I need? I think I, I need something that doesn't get got by Lily, but problem here is Lily's gonna kind of destroy me here anyway, so... Yeah, actually, we'll go like this. If they don't do anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a 1-1 one, one fish. This way I can give myself a little bit of a safety net. Alright, let's counter and draw two. And discard one. Eh, that's kind of like the absolute worst, but... Oh, hold on. Let's put them in a funny situation here. I'm going to put a land down. So at the worst case scenario, I get to make a 1-1 one, one out of this. All right, they're going to make me sack a creature. Let's have that be, I don't know, my 1-1 one, one shark. Please don't have a way to reanimate right now. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay. Sure. I'm going to cast... Oh, my God. All right. Double Fountain Port's kind of bad. All right. Nice. So, actually, this is huge. Okay. So, Indomitable Creativity. Cheat out of Valgavoth. They need another Lily right here. I don't think I care if they even have... I don't know. Some kind of uh, sweet bomb threat. Like, I don't think Cheese Fang wins it here. And, you know what? Yeah. I think this is pretty good for us. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. I at least have Indomitable Creativity. Let's just hope it doesn't get taken from me. No thought sees. Don't thought sees. Be cool. Be cool. Don't thought sees me. All right. Oh, God. Wait, this might be worse because they just straight up have aggression. Um, You know, maybe, maybe, like, I should kill this card, right? Volcanic Spite. Let's... I'm going to ship... A fable? Okay. Alright, not bad, not bad. What are the odds I get to just keep my stuff? Uh, wait, Kamano faces Kakazan, you got it. The big Kaka. Alright, we've got some Slick Shot. This is humorous. I think I'm just gonna pass, deduce, play Valgavoth. I think that's, that's good enough. Like, I'll at least make them sweat it, right? A little bit of your open mana, could be anything. Oh, they're going to play with fire before they do anything else. Interesting. Okay. Oh, man, I got I got some bad news for you. I'm surprised they don't want to go the other route. Play the slick shot first, shock. You know what? I won't complain. Sounds good to me, opponent. All right, so now let's just target. Here's Valgavoth, turn four. Is that good enough? I mean, I've got a Valgavoth staring him down right now. All right, Kakazan, you got it. Light up the stage, do it, do it up. Where is it? Show me, show me the goods. I mean, I may just let the damage go through and block etchings of Kamano. <laughs> that might be very weird, actually. Okay, so they very obviously have something kind of in a position where I want them to have it, right? All right, opponent. Now, I'm not sure how Manifest Dread or whatever that spell is, turn inside out, works. All right, cool. I'm back up to 17. That feels pretty good. Um, do I I just had them spend a ton of burn spells on me, right? But, like, if I just go hold up mana, make a treasure, I've got all the time in the world right now. 
Yeah, you got it, opponent. Yeah, you got it, opponent. All right, take six, seven, eight. I'm right back to where I was. Strong play from the opponent, though. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. Hey, another Valgavoth. We're back. Okay, so how do I get cooked here? Which different way am I getting cooked here? Nah, all right, all right. Good game. You know what? I didn't draw the other Valgavoth, so what's the worst that could happen? Am I right? Please do not let me draw the other Valgavoth. Okay, four colors. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and just go deduce. Let's draw a card, maybe, unless the opponent has other opinions about that. Okay. They're on four color, Yorion. I'm gonna just play, you know, yeah, here. Here's a fable. What's the worst that could happen, right? I am kind of increasing the chances that I draw my second Valgavoth, but let's not think about that for a minute. Portable hole. Okay, that's a, it's actually really interesting. Gosh darn it, decline. I'm gonna just go ahead and temple. Well, I can guarantee that it's not Valgavoth, so I should probably keep that on top. Okay. Please don't draw the other Valgavoth. Please don't draw the other Valgavoth. Sick. Okay. All right, no Valgavoth, no Valgavoth. That does get scary, doesn't it? I need to find a way to be able to protect the treasure, right? Hold up a negate or something like that. Sure. I guess I'll counter this. Why not? Nice. Okay. Do I dare go for it again? Not yet. They're just firing off a bunch of permanents. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just go ahead and make another token, I guess. Alright, I found a ley line. Alright, they've had enough! Hey, Valgavot's pretty nice! Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Check out this video if you want to see us try to take Mind Skinner and, of course, insult to injury to the ladder and try to cheese someone out.